The knee scorpion automatically passes and retrieves either 2O or 0 fiber wire. The low profile design allows access to tight recesses of the knee for various stitch configurations. Load the bottom jaw of the knee scorpion with either 0 or 2O fiber wire so that the suture is orientated to the right side of the needle with approximately a 1 inch tail of suture in an upward position. Introduce the knee scorpion with the suture loaded into the joint space through a passport button cannula. Once in the posterior aspect of the knee, open the jaws of the knee scorpion and grasp the meniscus. Gently close the jaws to secure the tissue and then advance the scorpion needle to pass the suture through the tissue. The suture will be captured in the top jaw. Passing suture in tight areas may require slight rotation of the knee scorpion to allow the needle to exit into the intercondylar notch to avoid hitting the articular surface of the condyle. With the suture secured in the top jaw, pull the instrument back through the passport cannula. Remove the suture from the knee scorpion by closing the jaw and advancing the needle. While the needle is deployed, remove the suture. Load the bottom jaw of the knee scorpion with the opposite end of the suture. Pass the loaded suture through the tissue anterior to the tear. Remove the suture from the knee scorpion. An arthroscopic knot of the surgeon's choice is completed. Using a knot pusher, it is ideal to push the knot posterior and recessed in tissue. Introduce a suture cutter to sever the suture flush at the knot. 